Okay, the last round has started. We won the die roll again. Going to play first. Having a pretty solid hand that we are going to keep. Play the Misty Rainforest here just in case we have to bolt because we want to fetch Stomping Ground and Head Out Fountain. So we don't really want to fetch red with the March Flats in case we need to bolt. Okay, I'm actually going to bolt here just to make the golfs better and to be more mana efficient. Since against Tron, there's no need to hold on to the bolt. Well, there's one point to be made for bolt. It helps finish off Karn if they minus three. But especially on the play, that's not very likely to come up since we will have two creatures in play by the time they can play Karn. So we still can just attack Karn. And with a landlight draw like that, I definitely just want to get it out there so we have bigger goifs. Seems like just good old Tron, which is actually kind of bad news for us. Because the matchup is not really great for that deck. And but uh, the five counter spells in the sideboard should definitely help out there a lot since hard counters are one of the best weapons against that big spell Tron deck. I mean they mostly just play like one big haymaker a turn and if you can counter that once or twice that should give you enough of a tempo edge to win because you have other outs to warm coil engine if it resolves and Khan gets worse every turn after the third that he gets played. Seems like our opponent is on full foil. Nice, nice. So, hmm. I think I just. Hmm. Not sure if I want to play another Goyf here, because if he has Tron and Oblivion Stone, it's kind of bad for us. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna activate Wolfron for one and get in there. Like both creatures are safe from his removal, so I mean Karn or Knight would probably buy him another turn. But it also would require Tron. Guess I could have maybe just played Ooze. Yeah, sometimes you just win against Tron. But beating them down on turn 5 if they don't have their Tron on turn 3. Nice, nice. Stony Silence certainly gonna come in as well. Um, who's looking pretty bad. Don't want a ton of passes. Domri is pretty bad. Hmm, not sure how many passes I want. I think Mind Sensor is actually 
decent considering that we can drop it on turn two. I think I'm cutting a pass since we have the band charm still. And maybe the bolts. Kind of like voice, just because it makes Oblivion Stone worse. That's quite a decent hand. Particularly great if we hit a fetch land that can fetch his demons. I guess Noble Hyrax better than Nakatl here. Allows us to go Stony Silence and Nakatl next turn, something like that, or just Nakatl Unified Will. Which might actually be what we need to do next turn. Um, no, in that case we just want to go Stony Silence to shut down that expedition map. That game is looking really good for us. Got almost everything we need. Blanked some of its cards. It's pretty good. And counter magic to protect everything. Get in there. More blanks. Okay. Good game. And that was a really quick fourth round. Okay, maybe to wrap it up, as you could see, the deck is quite capable of even simply just running down a lot of the more unfair decks in the format, especially if they don't have their really good draws. And post sideboard, you can just help keep them from having their nut draws by just making them stumble with some counter magic and some. I uh, hate cards. Yeah, I mean, I think the deck could be really good right now. I will definitely test it more against the current expected field of mostly um, Affinity, Junt, Scapeshift, Twin, Pod, and Blue-White-Red variants. And maybe something like Storm and stuff. I 
abandoned a lot of the um, specific storm hate since it seems like there's not a lot of storm type combo decks right now from it shifting back to more mid rangey grindy type of format as it has been for most of the time except when people felt like it's time for combo to dominate all those mid rangey grind decks but people realize Junt still working and the fair mid rangey disruptive plan with powerful cards seems to work the best especially after a lot of the really powerful unfair strategies have been banned to an extent that they are kind of not that broken anymore so there's a lot less appeal in playing them and Zeus certainly strives in a world of fair magic it has always been weakest against fast pure combo decks because they usually are like half a turn to one turn faster than you are and disruption is not always good enough because they might have answers to your hate but against other fair decks you have a very robust and fast clock, very powerful resilient creatures, good removal for um, any attempts to slow you down or stall the ground. And yeah, maybe it's time for for the for the zoo um, to come back and and show how how good it actually is when people are trying to play fair magic in modern. Okay, see you next time. As usual, let me know in the comments if you have any requests for uh, stuff you might want to see, um, questions, remarks, criticism about the video, questions about, about the deck, stuff like that. I will happily answer um, questions. Okay, see you next time. Good luck at the PTQs.